a little bit of simple hydroponics, anyone? This little plant here is going to go into here. And there's nothing real fancy about it. I just kind of pull it out. Since it's a small plant, you can see right there how it, if I get centered on there, there aren't very many roots on there yet. And that's perfect. That'll work out well for what I'm doing. We'll just get those roots all sprayed off of there. Get some of the soil off of it. You don't have to have 100% of it out of there. It doesn't matter that much. The key is these roots have to be down into the nutrients. Nutrients are going to be in here, and this will, of course, be covered. But how is it going to stay in there? Not like that, of course. These right here are expanded clay. You can get these on Amazon. You get a bag of them. Wash them off really good, because otherwise they'll turn everything all kinds of clay colors. But there's nothing real fancy about this. Pour it in there. That'll hold the plant steady. I can get it in the right spot. The roots, they can take quite a bit of abuse down there, so it's not that bad. It's already holding the plant in the right place. Sorry if that's loud. Which is all that really needs to be done is to hold it in there. If you can take a look at that, you don't see any roots coming out of the bottom of there yet. So when we fill this up with fluids, we'll want it all the way up here so the roots have all their nutrients to start. So I'll fill that up right now. It's really not that difficult. Anybody can do this. It's, it's been fun to do because I can grow them all year round. So to start, you see the fluids are filled all the way up to here. I tip it, but I'd pour it out. As the roots grow, you'll start to see them down here on the bottom. And you want to check this regularly because as the roots start to grow down here, you don't want your nutrients up here anymore. That'll drown the roots. They need to have some moisture in the air, and but they don't need to be completely submerged. You always want to have about a third of the space up on top uh, as air for your roots to pull in what it needs and then the rest is nutrients. You can see the line maybe across here where I used to have something in this. That's about as full as I will fill this once it's filled with roots. And then you can upgrade and move it to larger jars as you go along or even a five gallon bucket if you wish. But is that simple? How simple is that? And they will grow fantastically in here. But check it often when you start because the nutrients will drop those roots haven't taken off yet and your plant will dry out and you don't want that. This is a scarlet chili. This is a three inch net cup that's in here. These are expanded clay and this is a wide mouth mason jar. The wide mouth mason jar is three inches wide which makes this net cup fit here perfectly. And then you'll want to cover this with foil so all the light doesn't get in there and create all kinds of algae problems. I've tried it, it without the cover doesn't work so that's just a friendly tip from your neighborhood garden nut but I might be doing the same thing with this plant over here I don't want to keep it in that well, I'll show you I don't want to keep it in this cup I'm actually going to go away from using these cups I'm going to start just using the fabric little small fabric pots that they have now because it works so good I might put this into a five gallon bucket or maybe into a half gallon for now, but I'm not gonna keep it here in the soil because it's undoubtedly starting to spin around in there. It doesn't pull out real easy. But that is the easy way to start with a simple hydroponics. Don't need anything else but a cover over this and this thing will take right off. I'll probably do an update on it as time goes on, but hey, that's it for now and I hope you give that a shot. Sorry about bumping that. <laughs>